Today I will do another look at my RV7 with floats. Uh, and the first time I did it uh, on water then I had these front uh, legs just angle towards the rear which is the con stock configuration when you have wheels on. And then I had a bit of water splashing prop strike uh, because the, the, the floats then they are more to the rear. Uh, you get a little bit of splashing just from the floats um, going on water. Um, but it was quite easy just to take off, no problems to land. And after I landed, uh, I think it just handles great. So uh, it feels like when you're about to take off and you get the right speed, um, the, the, uh, the tail just pushes down a little bit and then you have no water splash strike on the prop and it just takes off really easy. Uh, but today I will have these landing gears just then angle forward and let's see how this one works on the RV7 on the water. So second attempt then on water with the modified version of the landing gear then. And I, I have just uh, pushed this one really much and have full elevated to get it up in the air and find it just um, let go and jump up in the air. And with these forward landing gear mounts then angle forward, I have no water splashing on the prop, which is really nice. So let's see how this one performs. I suppose there would be really no difference. The only difference would be then on takeoff. So, I mean, it rolls nice. So, I had it, this one, uh, expect this one just to be doing it more or less exactly what it did right now. Get rid of the water splashing. But at the same time, um, I really have to push it to get it up. So that is something I have to invest in. Maybe just make the rear mount a little bit shorter so that the wing then have a higher angle of attack, which will surely help when you're about to take off. To me, this R7 is a really sweet size, really easy to fly. Although being um, much space, white space on the plane, I think it looks nice and really easy to orientate with the blue wingtips also. I think you have ample power then on the 4S. So I'm doing this on a 4S 2200 milliamp battery, which is my go-to battery. And it's all balanced. I'm doing, not doing anything crazy today with this plane. Just uh, try to get a sense of it and um, have a nice time during the morning. I'm trying to keep the plane as close as possible to where I'm standing, just to, to, have, uh, to have a good look at it. So easy just to go further away when you're on a lake and you have a vast space. So you really have to be disciplined and just try to fly as close as possible. Very nice also a morning with no wind, just before sunrise. So the sun hasn't really started to hit the, um, the lake then also. In my opinion, I think this RV7 is a really rock solid performer. Time really, no bad habits. You can fly it really slow if you like. You just go docile around, or if you want to kick it around and do aerobatics and roll. I think it's quite agile. So it's uh, almost time to land this one, just engaging in full flaps. Landing flaps, 30 seconds. There's no wind, so it doesn't matter which direction I do. 
set this one down, just having a fly bypass to get a sense for uh, how the landing will be. Before I get it down, try to land quite near to where I'm standing. Yeah, more or less just drop the power, let it drop, a little bit of power and then this flare at the end. And we're down, really good way. Nice flight with this modification. So here's the thing, uh, when you have these front pieces, landing gears then angle forward, you have no water splashing, so that's great. But it becomes so difficult just to, to, to take off with these RC airplanes. So you have to really push the throttle, push full elevator and just go. And I also increase the elevator throw just to have more uh, elevator authority. But some, some, some tries, it was more or less just impossible to get this fun flying. Uh, so when I had them towards the rear, uh, takeoff was really easy, but they had, then again had the water splashing. Um, so really what I think is, is a good solution, regardless if you have these landing gears angled forward or to the rear, is to somehow just lower the tail by shortening the rear brace then. And, and certainly I would like to find some sort of brace that just uh, um, is just a little bit lower. Um, but the option I can just think of is to somehow just cut these and, and join them together. So maybe a few centimeters just uh, make them shorter so that this plane will angle a little bit upwards. And, I, and then I don't think it, it, it really matters if you have these landing gears then uh, towards the front or towards the rear when it comes to the, uh, the front section. And so that is something I will just come back to and experiment more with because I think this is a beautiful and fun RC airplane to fly. And although I think that floats, they, it does take a little bit hit of performance on most RC airplanes. Uh, I think that this one still handles great and it's just a beautiful one when you see it flying with floats, just a fantastic one. So um, a little bit more experiment and just um, trial and error for this RC airplane, but hopefully I'll get it good someday.